In this video, we're going to talk about keeping WordPress core, our plugins and themes, up to date at all times. Now, this is really important for security purposes. We want to always make sure that our software is up to date. Now, as I mentioned, our host is going to cover the brunt of our security. They're going to handle firewalls and blocking hackers and doing all kinds of stuff from their end. And they're also going to help us you know, keep our website up to date and notify us if there's any massive security updates that need to be applied. And in some cases, they may apply them for us. But it's our responsibility, one, to always use you know, verified software from reputable, reputable developers. So if we're using plugins, we want to make sure that we've gotten it either from the repository or something like Code Canyon, where we know that those plugin authors or theme developers are reputable and somebody's verified the files. So that's the first part. And don't worry too much about that because I'm going to recommend to you which plugins to use and all of those are verified. But if you ever go outside of Latte Press to add you know, different functionality, then just be make sure that we're getting those from proper sources. So that's the first thing. And the second thing that we can do to make our site safe is to always keep that software up to date. Similar to something like Microsoft Windows, as Microsoft releases security updates, they're also releasing to you know, hackers and other people what the holes were in that software, and WordPress is similar. So when they release an update, if it's a security update, then there are going to be people out there that are going to be able to find out what the weaknesses are in the, current, in the, the previous versions. And so if we haven't updated to the latest version or if we're using an outdated uh, plugin that's released a security update, then that can leave us vulnerable. And so it's really important that we make sure that our website is updated at least every other day or every couple of days. We want to go in and make sure that there are no updates available. And if there are, we want to update our site. Thankfully, this is a very, very easy and very quick process. Okay. So if we have updates available, you can see it's telling me in a couple different places. This little icon here with the one is telling me that one of my plugins is out of date. Uh, this is telling me that I have nine total updates that are available and that's telling me here as well. And so if we see this notification, that's going to let us know that there's updates available and that can be updates for WordPress core themes or plugins. So if we click on this updates link, it's going to tell me everything that has an update available. So if we had an update for WordPress core, the core WordPress software, that would show up here and there would be an update button. Then it's going to list to me the plugins that require an update. So a Kismet is a default plugin that comes with WordPress. We're not going to be using it, but it, you can see that it has an update available. And then we can see that we have several themes here that require updates. Now, if you're using Kinsta or Flywheel, you're probably not going to have these themes installed. If you're using Pantheon, they usually package all of the 2012, 11, 15, all of the, the official WordPress themes, they package it with new installations because a lot of developers use those for testing. So they're dropping those in there for, for developer benefit. So I'll show you how to get rid of all of those if you have them, but this is a good way of showing you how to keep all this stuff up to date. So in order to click to do an update, it's really just as easy as uh, clicking on the select all button over plugins or themes and clicking on the button below. So in this case, update plugins. So it's going to automatically reach out to the WordPress repository, grab the latest version of that plugin and install it. And then after it's done, it'll show us whether or not it is successful. If it's not successful for some reason, it'll give us a message about why. And then we can click on this return to WordPress updates page. Again, if we had a update for WordPress, there would be a button here and it's the same process. Just click and it's updated. It'll update all on its own. And then we can update our theme. So we click select all, we click update themes, and it's going to go through and update all of those themes. Now, in case you're wondering, yes, every once in a while there is a compatibility issue. Normally, if it's a large update like WooCommerce, which is an e-commerce plugin for creating stores, sometimes they have very large updates and it'll warn you if there's a potential for something to go wrong. So it'll give you a specific warning that says, this is a big update, back up your site before running it. So then we go into our respective host, whether it be Kinsta, Flywheel, or Pantheon. We go through that backup process in the dashboard to take an extra backup. With Flywheel and Kinsta, they'll take a daily one, but this is one of those situations where you may want to go in and take an extra one manually. And then we just go through that update process. But like I say, with the majority of the plugins and themes and items that we're going to be using in Latte Press, they're very responsible companies and they're going to let us know if there's a big update that 
you know, you may want to back it up and you may want to get in the habit. And I do recommend this of when you have a lot of updates uh, to just go in and make a backup before you do it. Cause it really just takes a couple seconds. And then if anything goes wrong, we can quickly revert back to the previous um, version. But uh, you know, let me alleviate any concerns. It is very, very rare that people release, you know, especially with the official plugins and themes that we're going to be using, that there is an issue with an update. These are tested pretty well and any issues are usually caught right away and then they have a fix comes out and you'll, you'll update again. So you don't really have to worry about your site exploding when you update with, uh, with WordPress. It's pretty straightforward. It's pretty simple. And because we're taking those daily backups, we can always revert back to an earlier version if something does go wrong. So it's always a really good idea to keep your website up to date at all time. And this is just an easy way to update plugins, themes, WordPress core. Uh, if you're using a multilingual site, sometimes you'll also get updates for translations, which will be an extra section down here, but it all works the same way. It's just a couple clicks of a button and our WordPress website will always be up to date and will always be secure.